Hello, I'm Bruna and I can't decide on an intro for my videos. So I'm talking again about rejecting stuff and this video title is a complete oxymoron. <laughs> but it's funny, so we're gonna stick with it. So making music great again was my way of making content for YouTube, which I don't do very much because it's mainly just a promotional tool. And it was done while I was making Ocean's Dream. Obviously making music great again was a lot of work. That was all about how much work I was having to do for tracks. And there are some things that were just too much work. And like with Discordance and how I talked about that last time in this series, I guess, it's a very fine line to draw. It's really hard to know when something is a lot of work but worth doing for the near future and when something's a lot of work and not worth doing for the near future. So making music great again showed sometimes not a lot leads doing to make things a lot better but with other episodes there is a lot. So let me just explain. So the first one I'm going to talk about I am calling Zone. Sirens, man! I mean, there are going to be sirens in so many of my videos because I don't know some. Right, so the first one I'm calling Zone. This is a track entirely inspired by Elite Dangerous. I did a video on Elite Dangerous on my channel a while ago. Fine. I've talked about gaming on my channel before as well. I'm, yeah, so I love this track. I really love the inspiration behind it and I love the way it sounds. And it kind of would have fit, to be honest. But it was too discordant, which I've talked about before, obviously. And the structure was wrong. And I'm, I'm just not really sure how to start fixing that one either. I've taken, I've done little bits, but nothing massive. And but that's because it would take days. And it will happen eventually. It's another one like Peace where you will hear that, but just not yet. And yeah, the other one is um, what I'm calling Limit. Again, this one was like really, really cool ideas, cool inspiration, bit of a tribute to waveforms again. Do you think I'm a bit obsessed with tributing waveforms? But there were really cool ideas and there was even more that needed doing for that one. So what's going to happen as a result of this is that I am going to work on these tracks at some point, but not now. So you're probably going to get more making music great again in the future. That's that's the big takeaway in terms of YouTube content. But the reason why, the main reason why I haven't worked on this is because, you know, some of the tracks of making music great again did take days and I did it anyway. The main reason was because I was coming to the end of, at least for now, making music great again and I already knew that I had more than enough material for an album. At that point I had the like 26 track long list and that just didn't help honestly, especially with something like Zone and something like Limit where I was really doubtful it was going to fit. It really just didn't help knowing that I had so much material already done and ready that was guaranteed to fit it just took my motivation off and you know sometimes you have to know when to stop and if I had done a making music great again episode for every song that needs work this wouldn't be happening this year and you guys have been asking for music for a while and I wanted to get this out there because I'm really happy with the concept. I've learned my lesson since the blink of an eye in terms of track list. It was just too much. Ocean's Dream is on the way. It's coming sooner than you think by this point. We've got another single coming in Destroyer which is coming next week. Exciting! Very exciting. Destroyer is such a cool track. I'm really, really excited for that. 
It's got such a good beat. Coming next week, gonna be on this channel with a music video. There are gonna be other places you can listen and buy it and all sorts, which would be greatly appreciated. So, yeah, that's really exciting. See you soon. I need to.